What's up YouTube, Will here, and today I'm going to do something special. I'm going to do a review on MyImportStore.com. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's pretty much a website where you can buy uh, merchandise, usually necklaces, bracelets, all this kind of stuff that's modeled after cartoons and anime, and a lot of nerdy stuff out there. So just for example, um, I've bought a lot of Naruto stuff and um, Lord of the Rings stuff from the store and it ranges from video game merchandise to Naruto anime merchandise from Bleach to One Piece to Naruto all the way to nerdy um, types of movies like Lord of the Rings and s stuff like that. I'm pretty sure there's even Harry Potter stuff on there. So I'm going to be doing a review on um, some of the stuff I purchased there. And um, just so you know, it's not a product placement type of thing. I wasn't uh, paid to do this review or anything of that sort. Um, I'm just a customer. So if you want more information about the product, it's in the description below. I have a link to the website. So um, let's get to it. So right here we have some of the stuff I purchased from myimportstore.com. Um, this is the package uh, it came in. Um, for this package, I only bought this ring and this came separately um, in another package. So this is actually um, a ring I purchased from the store. If you look closely, it has um, engravings on it. I don't know if you can see it um, but what it is is it's the ring from Lord of the Rings um, it's you know the ring you see throughout all three of the movies not the actual one but it's a model and so you can get this at the store there's elvish engravings on the outside and on the inside as well if you can see well enough um, it might be kind of difficult, but yeah, I got this for from the store for around thirty to forty dollars, and um, there's two types you could buy at the store: the cheap one, which is about sixteen dollars right now, and the expensive one, which is this one. Um, and this one, I think they've upped the price. Uh, you could look right here. This is what they look like on the website. The more expensive one right now is almost $50, but I think it's worth it. Um, and I know, I know some of you guys are going to be like 50 bucks for this. But, you know, sometimes when you have the cash and you want to spend stuff on stupid stuff, there you go. Uh, this necklace here is from Naruto. Um, they have a lot of Naruto themed merchandise. So these are kunai knives and they put three of them on this necklace for you and it's really cool because if you're a really big Naruto fan you know what um, these kunai represent and it's pretty darn cool and this was a lot cheaper it wasn't like fifty dollars or anything I would say around ten maybe fifteen dollars for it and so that's what it, uh, this is actually the uh, box the ring came in so it came in this box right here um, which was pretty neat and um, as far as the rings are concerned, I actually did a lot of research on Google on rings. And before I bought this ring, I was already buying merchandise from myimportstore.com. But when I bought this ring, I first did a lot of research just on Google on sites that sell, you know, replicas of this ring. I did a whole bunch of research on all these different types of Lord of the Ring replica rings because I was nerdy like that. And a lot of the websites pretty much sold them for a lot higher price. And judging from the pictures and the descriptions, they were a lot lower quality. You can do a research type of thing yourself and find out for yourself. But uh, the gist of it was most of them had rings that were of lower quality and they were a lot more expensive. And then there was a whole bunch that were a lot more expensive but they were a lot higher quality. And I'm talking like $10,000 for a Lord of the Rings replica ring. And they would like 
diamond encrusted and stuff like that. So there's only like really two categories I could choose from. The really, really expensive rings that were like $10,000, $1,000, and then, you know, something in my price range from zero to a hundred. And in that price range, my import store was probably most definitely the best bet because all the other websites, they had really bad, bad quality rings. And the reason I could tell was because I did a lot of research on the actual material behind it and there's different types. You could get like bronze or silver. And um, what you find is that if you get like a, anything that's gold encrusted or gold plated, what that pretty much means is they put like really crappy metal on the inside and then they just paint the outside with a thin layer of fake like gold plating and the problem with that especially uh, bronze gold plating is that like once you like rub it or wear it for like maybe even less than a week you're gonna rub that gold plating off and then you're just left with like the silver crappy metal on the inside so um, after I did a lot of research I checked out all the other websites selling this ring. I came back to my import store, which was the store I'd been using all this time already to buy other merchandise. And so um, that's why I chose this ring. Now, if you check the website, again, they have two options. This is the gold encrust encrusted option. And if you take that into account, then there's probably other websites out there that have cheaper and better quality. But I went for the pricier one, which is this one. And that's actually sterling silver. And so you don't get any like gold encrusted stuff or anything crappy like that. And of course it's more pricey, but it's well worth it because you're not going to get crappy quality. And if you do your own research, you'll find that if you choose sterling silver, uh, this is probably the cheapest price for the best quality sterling silver. If you want to go gold encrusted, then this is probably not your best bet. You might want to try another website. But for gold encrusted, I don't recommend it because um, you're probably going to you know, wear it out in under a week. So I went with the sterling silver and if you don't know what that means, sterling silver is a special type of silver which means it guarantees that 90% of its at least um, silver. So that means 90 to 100% of this ring um, is pure silver. And there's pretty much two categories, sterling silver and just silver. And if it's just silver, that means they can make any percentage of it silver from zero to 100. That ring, any ring that's just labeled silver could be like 5% silver and like 95% some cheap quality poor product like bronze or something else and they'll mix it in with the silver and label it as silver but um, this was labeled as sterling silver so you're guaranteed that 90% of it is at least silver and so yeah boom this is my ring you can see the inside, it has the elvish writing on the inside and outside. So that is pretty cool. I know it's pretty nerdy for some of you guys out there, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff um, you can find on this website. If you look right here on along the side, you got um, a whole bunch of stuff. Kingdom Hearts, Bleach, Fairy Tail, um, Naruto, Skyrim, Super Mario. And they sell a whole bunch of stuff like Skyrim. They have Skyrim necklaces and stuff like that. So maybe you'll find something interesting on there for yourself. And once again, I'm not being paid to promote this product. I wasn't contacted by myimportstore.com. And honestly, it's an honest review. There are some stuff on the website that are pretty crappy. They're pretty overpriced. But there's still a lot of good stuff on there as well. And... On top of that, let's move on to um, shipping and stuff like that. So yeah, any order over $30 gets shipped for free. Well, for the ring, I think I got free shipping because it was over 30 and it took like, I would say three to four weeks for it to arrive, like legit. Like I waited three weeks and nothing happened. 
And then on the fourth week, I think I got like, I finally got the package in the mail. And I think it was the same thing for the necklace, but it took like a week or two shorter. And I ordered some other stuff with it. So maybe it was because it was in bulk that it came faster. And I know the shipping time is pretty long, but if you wanna, you know, decrease that weight, all you have to do is pay more, but it's well worth it. And the reason why it takes so long is because the factory that makes this stuff is in Indonesia, I believe, or somewhere on the other side of the world. So that's why it took so long. I lived in the United States of America on the Eastern side. So it took a whole lot of time for them to bring it over. That's about it. And um, I definitely think it's well worth your wait. And I think I'm gonna get like a necklace to go with this. Like maybe a chain necklace so I can wear this. It's really cool. And I've gotten other stuff from there too, not just kunai. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think when I bought this, they gave me something extra because I bought like a lot of Naruto stuff in a bundle. Um, so they gave me like an extra, like um, extra merchandise. Like if you buy like more than like $30 or something, and you buy like two more items, they give you like a free like keychain or something that's like a legit item. Like you get like a legit item like this on like a keychain. And so I got a bunch of stuff from that and it's well worth your wait. So for those of you guys who are like, Will, why are you doing this video? Um, isn't your channel mostly about comedy or isn't your channel mostly about music or something like that or rants? Well, my channel is about everything so if you don't like that then you don't have to watch the video just wait for my comedy stuff or my dating stuff or vlogs or whatever so if you prefer me to talk about something well I'm sorry this is a channel for everything so um, I hope you subscribe and I hope you guys watch all my stuff but um, if you have preferences for what you want me to watch leave it in the comments below and um, I mean if you have preferences for what you want me to do a video on leave it in the comments below and I'll try and do that but I'm not gonna stop doing stuff I like to do so um, yeah I'll still do reviews like this if I have to but if you want other stuff leave it in the suggestions and I'll try and do more on that so I hope you guys like this see you guys later and peace out subscribe